as me for the Megan Moore Show. Jaxie couldn't make it tonight, which is quite unfortunate, because before I used to be the queen with the biggest nose, and now she's here, but now she's not here, I don't get that. <laughs> so hi everyone, I'm Megan Moore. <laughs> Do you like my dress? Yeah. It's custom made in America by Michonne Beyond in Florida. <laughs> Alright, well, everyone, for those of you who already know me, I'm gonna be on the stage right now, so this is the part of the show where you go to the bathroom. <laughs> hey, too early. Anyways, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Miss Megan Moore, <laughs> and I'm inspired by all the queens in Florida. <laughs> 95% of them look the same, but hey. <laughs> Alright, um, and I'm a drag queen, but I like to call myself a female impersonator. <laughs> Just like Tinos, do you know him? <laughs> he's also a female impersonator, but he's more consistent with his impersonations. <laughs> For example, last time at the drag house show, he impersonated Denise Delight. This time, he impersonates Denise Delight. <laughs> However, I am different because I impersonate different characters. For example, I put on my Megan Moore makeup, and then I put on a blonde wig, and then I'm Dolly Parton. <laughs> then I put on my Megan Moore makeup and a black wig, and then I'm Eliza Minnelli. <laughs> I put on a wig that is completely black on this side and completely white on this side, and then I call myself a Didi, I mean a Sia impersonator. <laughs> Sorry about it. Anyways, I want to reveal why I'm really here for tonight. Because I'm kind of tired of the drag house queens, you know? Roxy Tai Hu, Mariah Free for what? <laughs> Didi Khan says she just didn't wear her stilettos on the stage, if you didn't notice. <laughs> All right. Well, so I'm gonna change drag house into the house of Megan Moore. So I'm gonna cast some queens for tonight, and I'm looking for some new talents that can look exactly like me and all the Florida queens. So can we please introduce you to the house of Moore family, so we can see what kind of diverse we are. All right. So she's my assistant, and she's going to show you all the queens from Florida. All right. So first of all, there's me. Miss Megan Moore! <laughs> Alright, the next queen is Miss Miranda Moore! Stop being so shady. She has a fascinator on. It's not me. Alright, and my grandmother, Miss Megan Moore! I know, <laughs> it's the same name, but we're not that creative in Florida. <laughs> Alright, and then the next one, Willow Beers Austin. She's me, plus 50 kilos. <laughs> Miss Monica. Oh wait, she's not my Melinda Moore. All right, thank you so much. You can go down again. Thank you. Give her a big applause. Thank you. That's the biggest applause Megan Moore ever had on stage. Too real. Anyway, so let's get started with the training. First of all, I want to teach you how to act like me, because that's difficult. So. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you that I'm a really independent drag queen and I came here all by myself and I worked so hard. Hi mom, hi dad, hi. hey sister. <laughs> Anyways, first of all, step one, talk a lot about yourself. For example, I'm so tired of my parents. They always tell me to go to my room and I have to say, which one of them? <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Second of all, step two, Compliment people, be nice, even though you don't mean it. For example, your makeup looks really gorgeous tonight. <laughs> you see, she believes it. <laughs> third of all, <laughs> the third one, be shy. 
shady, but it doesn't have to be intelligent. You can also do it to yourself. For example, have you guys ever met my boyfriend? Yeah. yeah. Me neither. <laughs> All right, but now let's get serious. We're also performers. I know we do the same thing, but we have to teach you how to perform like me. So I'm gonna show you a five-step tutorial on how to move like Megan Moore. So first of all, the step one, the hand wave. Do it like that. Just, yeah, like, try and do it, right? It's just like a belly dancer, just with 25% of the enthusiasm. <laughs> step two, point and go there. It's a great Florida passion trip. It always works. So guys, I'm gonna show you these two dance steps because five moves are too difficult to take in at once. So I'm gonna show you this song with one of my favorite songs that I can relate to. It's Working 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton. But I only, but guys, I only work from 9 to 12 because I still get pocket money. Oh! Hit it, DJ. Are you guys ready? Yeah! 